the fact that you write out scenes from a book in beautiful handwriting and then lead them at confession, no one needs this writing of yours. The Lord doesn't look at what you wrote there, the Lord looks at the heart. Because we can say one thing, but in our hearts we can have something completely different. I can't forgive. Well, if only you could forgive. Forgiveness is a gift from God, it begs. But I can't have prayed. Little prayer. You must pray persistently, you must pray earnestly. Lord, I will not leave you until you give me the gift of forgiveness. And the Lord gives this gift. He teaches us more than just forgiveness. He even teaches us to justify all offenders, which He Himself did. Remember, when Christ was crucified, when He was just laid on the cross, they began to stretch their arms, hammer and nails, splashes of blood splashed on clothes, on hands, on the faces of the soldiers. They thought that now they would hear curses. But from this cross they heard a prayer. He said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. That is, he not only forgave, he justified them. They don't know what they are doing. Forgive them. That's the way we are. We must not only forgive, but also justify. It happens that you have more or less reconciled with everyone, but you don't have time to leave the temple and already again someone has upset, offended someone. And what to do? Once a monk came to an old man and said, Father, I have fallen. He says, get up and move on. After a while he comes again. I fell again, what should I do? Get up again and go. Oh, until when? Until death. Only angels don't fall. Falling and getting up is a human nature. Falling and not getting up is characteristic of demons. John Chrysostom said, we will be condemned not because we fell, but because the fallen didn't rise. And the disciples ask the Savior, and how many times to forgive? Up to seven times? He says, no, not up to seven, up to seventy times seven. That's always. And when we have irritation, resentment against someone in our hearts, we don't have to wait for forgiveness Sunday, we must immediately ask for forgiveness from both God and the person you offended.